Hey guys, a warm welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my mini car cave here, which is not warm, it's very cold, as you can see. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to continue on the 348, back in the engine bay, really from where we uh, finished off the other day. So let's have a recap of what we've done. We've done plenum chamber, which was a lot easier than I thought to get out of the car and work on that. We refinished those cam covers, nice red wrinkle finish again to look in factory. We've done the airbox, we have done the uh, heat shielding for the exhaust system, and a few other little things. There's a couple of bits that I still want to do on there, such as the rubber hoses, tubes, and things like that. That I want to clean all those up. I threw them on on Friday just to make sure the car was running again after that work that we were doing. So we're going to do that, we're going to work around there, we're going to work our way down, clean the uh, bottom of the engine block, just so it all looks really nice in there. Now, the idea of this really is, as I said in the first episode, this is not a nut and bolt restoration. This is something that I'm doing, it's not costing me thousands of pounds. This is not me bringing in specialists doing this, this is me showing you, you know, that this is something everyone is capable of doing, you know, it's not rocket science, it is just a bit of time, you know, a lot of elbow grease, a uh, bit of spraying, some new fresh nuts and bolts to give it that bling factor, and, and stuff such as that, you know. So hopefully it's inspiring you guys. It doesn't have to be a Ferrari 348, it could be any Ferrari, it could be any car for that matter, you know, but hopefully it's inspiring you to, again, as I said in the uh, original intro episode, cars like this they look great on the outside but often and it's really disappointing because you open up the engine bay and it's dirty you know you, you've got a nice Ferrari or a nice anything Audi anything like that and, and the engine I often open it up and it's like oh you know but it's also something you know you can do yourself unlike the uh, grey 355 here that's beautiful it's always been looked after and you can tell that so anyway I have talked enough I'm going to spin the camera around I'm going to show you uh, today's kind of plan of where we want to get to okay so here we are engine bay where are we at we have done as I said exhaust heat shield air box plenum chambers being completely taken out redone looking great in there I'll get a light I mean you can just see everything down there again now it's lovely it's how it came out the factory really nice and clean cam covers all done uh the radiator water reservoir over there that's done just little things like this and shiny new cap on there i think it was like seven quid something like that you know it just you look in here it looks nice and clean now so what are we going to do next as i said i want to focus that area over here uh we're going to start over on the right side just behind all of this yeah I did all the pipe work we're going to continue down under here while I've got the wheel off got it jacked up I'll be doing the bottom of the engine block down there underneath all the cam covers as you can see we've done all the top of the gearbox down there already while we had the airbox off I'll be doing a similar kind of thing on the left side of the front side there of the engine area <clears throat> then we're going to work our way back I will be doing things like removing all of this uh, coil kind of pack system here and just cleaning up all of this. I'm actually tempted to probably spray this the same colour just so when we look in there we have got similar matching colours so this doesn't look so blingy on its own. Okay, uh, what else have we got? Uh, we will just, yeah, like I say, work our way back. We've done all this. Um, I've done the wheel arch over on the right side. I'll be doing the wheel arch for the left side when that comes out. I'll be spinning the car around so I've got a bit more access around it. Then things like this. I'm going to sort that out. That's just some trim tack. So the nice stuff, we've done all the nice stuff. We're just going to do the, well, let's say the bit of boring stuff that you don't necessarily see straight away but when you look in for instance if I look over here 
it's just dirty over there. Okay, so we are just gonna continue having a nice clean up, finish this engine area, and then we get on to the next stage. Back under the right side of the car now, wheel is off. See our nice fresh cam covers. I still need to put the uh, clips in there for the spark plug leads. Um, so we're gonna just clean up this radiator front area there. I'll be changing the fuel filters anyway when I do a, an annual service on this car. So I'm not worried about those too much. So it's really pipe work, radiator, and just this front area again, pipes up there. So I'm gonna continue on that this morning. So, four rusty nuts later, some penetrating fluid, and uh, I thought it would be much easier just to take these fans out. Like I say, four nuts, and uh, just sit on these things. It gives me nice access to the radiator. I can clean up the fan out of the car. So, that's the plan. Gonna do that one, then that one. Just one connector holding it in place, and uh, yeah. Do that one at a time. And that's our fan out of the car. One of four. Gives me nice access around it. I can clean up all the blades, clean up all this horrible gunk from years of neglect, clean up all the terminals as well. That'll be great. So let's make that look pretty. Found a sticker underneath all the grime. There we have it. One sticker revealed. So fans are all cleaned up, radiators cleaned, and again, looking a bit better down in this corner. So I'm gonna put the arch back in, move on to the next bit. So I'm just gonna take this out now. Gonna connect, uh, just connected all the leads off the coil. Just taking the cables out here. I'm gonna remove the four 10 mil bolts from around it take it out of the car, easier to clean out. So that's out of the car now. I need to replace this coil anyway because it's uh, slightly broken. Also enables me to get to things like the spring and the uh, frame here and give all that a clean up. So well worth doing. Four screws, two connectors and a cover. So can clean it all up, change that and also clean that framework up at the same time. So well worth it. That's now finished, rebuilt and ready to go back in. Looking really cool, happy with that. Both sides, this side you actually can see from the uh, wheel arch. So, really cool. That's our coil pack back in place. My plan did work. So it's kind of blended that in a little bit with the plenum chamber. I've got this side off now. That's all gonna get cleaned up. We'll do the same with that. Right side archway is now cleaned and ready to go back in the car. I will then uh, spin the car around, remove the opposite side, and we'll start the whole cleanup process on the left. Cold today. Look at the top of the Stravari. Very pretty and very cool. Gonna need some of this trim fix adhesive to sort this out. Let's see how this works. So we just spray a load in like so. Try and get it on both surfaces. And then we just let it go off for a bit few seconds and I'll push it into place and there you go push that back up into place a bit better sort that one out as well and color that in a minute
So it was icy earlier, as you saw. Now, it's snowing. So most kids go and get their sledge out right now. This big kid is gonna go and get the strat out. Here's my buddy. This is uh, Dino. It's my eight foot transformer that I built from scrap. What do we got? Ferrari uh, bits, bobs, uh, Testarossa Coney suspension down there, 360 springs, all kinds of stuff just from the garage, yeah? Say hi, Dino. Say bye, Dino. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I've got to. The uh, car's waiting for me to have a bit of fun in it. See you in the next one. Ciao for now. Bit of Stradale time.